For the infinite series that is shown in this example in the form of 1 over pi plus 2 times pi 1 over pi square plus 3 times 1 over pi cube up to infinity, we want to see if there is a quick way to solve it. Is there a closed form formula for this? Does it converge? I would like to answer these questions using algebraic method as a quick method to solve this problem. So to do that, let's focus on the terms of involving in this series. So the first term you can see we have 1 times pi to the power minus 1 and 2 times pi to the power minus 2. So give, given the trend, let's, let's refer to this series that we want to solve as s. Let's multiply numerator denominator of s by 1 minus pi to the power negative 1. So we are not changing anything, we're just multiplying with this factor. If we do that, let's multiply term by every so term by term with this product so we have pi to the power minus 1 so we have pi minus 1 and then we have negative pi to the power minus 2 so that's the result of multiplying this term with this term okay so the next one is 2 times of course we get pi to the negative 2 and then we get minus 2 times pi to the negative 3. So that is the result of multiplying 2 times pi to the negative 2 with this term. So if we keep doing this, the next one, which is the result of uh, 3 to the power, 3 times pi to the power minus 3 multiplied by this term, we get 3 times pi to the minus 3 minus 3 times pi to the minus 4, and so on and so forth. So what do we get out of this? And of course, in denominator, we should not forget, we have 1 minus pi to the power minus 1. OK, so what do we have? Well, we can simplify. So our sum, so the whole thing is referred to as sum. So this sum is equal to now. In denominator, we have 1 over 1 minus pi to the power minus 1. We keep it. And then we have minus pi to the power minus 2 plus 2 times pi to the power minus 2. So we get pi minus 1 plus pi to the power minus 2. And this trend is uh, keep going. So you can see that is uh, you can see that we have negative pi to the power minus 3 and then plus 3 pi to the power minus 3, which you end, we end up having pi to the power minus 3. And if you keep uh, uh, continuing with with simplifying the terms, you will see that this goes forever. So our infinite series now is in the form of a, a geometric series, as you can see here. So now it's a, just a simple geometric series. And in this geometric series, I would like to highlight that we have, so let me put it this way. So we have initial term equal to pi to the negative 1. We have common ratio, which means uh, what we need to multiply the each term to get to the next term. So we need to multiply by constant pi to the negative 1. You can see that's exactly happening for the next one. That's the reason we are saying this is a geometric series. So common ratio of the geometric series, which is an infinite geometric series, is equal to just pi to the negative 1. And final term, or term the at infinity of course uh, because the term looks like in the form of 1 over pi to the power n as n goes to infinity then the denominator goes to infinity and the whole thing goes to zero so the final term effectively approaches zero all right so this is what we have but uh, without even relying on the well-known formula for the geometric series we can just keep multiplying another 1 minus pi to the power negative 1 and uh, to compensate for that, we're going to raise the power of 1 minus pi to the power negative 1 by another, by let's say by 2. So we get, as a result of this, we get this. So 1 over 1 minus pi to the power negative 1 to the power 2 now times. So if we keep now multiplying these terms, so if we keep multiplying these terms by this additional uh, component that we added, so we, we end up with this result. So pi minus 1 minus pi minus 2. Now this one multiplied by this term gives us pi minus 2 minus pi minus 3. This one 
multiplied by this term will give us pi minus 3 minus pi minus 4 and you can continue doing so uh, you can you, and you will see this time as expected from a geometric series we are noticing that the components like a telescopy telescoping series are cancelling out each other so the only thing remaining effectively given that this is an infinite series and uh, at, at the very end the final term is zero so the only thing after this multiplication is just the first term here pi to the power negative one so the outcome is pi to the power negative one divided by one minus pi to power negative one to the power two so if we further simplify by multiplying the numerator denominator by just pi square both numerator and denominator what we get is pi divided by pi minus one squared so what we found as a result of this uh, algebraic quick algebraic method of uh, dealing with this problem is we found that this infinite series converges and this is the closed form formula for the outcome uh, for the value of this infinite series this is the algebraic method effectively relying on a few tricks and then at the end relying on a geometric series that uh, with final trick of multiplying by additional 1 minus pi over minus 1 minus pi to the power minus 1 turns into a telescoping series in which consecutive terms are cancelling out each other as expected in a telescoping series there are many ways to prove this um, so we, we uh, there are also difference methods which is similar to this one and also uh, we can solve this problem uh, using uh, derivatives and as alternative method there, it, this can also be proved uh, this can also be proven using mathematical induction as well first for a finite version of this summation and uh, then for the infinite version I hope that this example is helpful thanks for watching